Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. I'm really excited about this palette. I know that a lot of people are probably like, Jamie, it's just another neutral palette. But like, hear me out. I love a good neutral palette like it doesn't matter how many I own if a good neutral palette comes out like I'm all for it and I really do love Morphe's collabs I am not a fan of their like standalone palettes like their 35B's 35A's M's Z's double D's you know what I mean but every time they have a collab it always winds up being like really, really amazing. This palette was only $18. So that is a really, really affordable amount. And I believe it's a 10 pan palette. So I'm just gonna show you, like the packaging is really sleek and pretty. I didn't expect anything less from Jaclyn. Two, four, six, so it's a 12 pan palette. It does come with a mirror and this is what it looks like inside. It's so beautiful. And let me tell you what my favorite thing about it is. So I am a big fan of palettes that have mattes and matching shimmers because it's a two-step makeup process that basically takes the thinking and the hard out of a palette. So I absolutely love that they did this. I think that the colors are beautiful. And y'all know I am a fanatic of fall. And I just think that this is a perfect time to come out with something as beautiful as this. And you know, we all sit here and we love the really crazy, really bright palettes. But at the end of the day, a lot of people, everyday consumers, if you will, they don't go for those rainbow bright neon palettes. So I think that coming out with a neutral palette is such a good idea. There are gonna be people who just don't like it because it's boring and that's fine. But for me, I get so excited. <laughs> I just get really excited about neutrals because I love a neutral palette, okay? So, and then one that's this cohesive in colors with mattes and shimmers. Like literally, you have six looks automatically. Put the matte all over the eye and smoke it out a little and then literally take your finger and put the shimmer on the lid, boom. Six different looks already and that's just with the most simplistic way of using this palette you guys know i love having a lot of fun and doing colorful stuff on my channel but my main focus on my channel has always been simple everyday makeup that any one of you could do but we're gonna hop right in here i'm gonna put my primer on we're going back to my favorite eye primer i have been using so many new eye primers like trying them and testing them and i'm just like i miss I miss my makeup by Mario. Now I will say that Morphe and Jaclyn, I think that they have some kind of like deal or cahoot together that she has like her own formula with them. She had her own formula with all her palettes and like no one else can use her formula. So like no other collab can use it. So it's different than a lot of them, the James Charles, Nikita and so on and so forth. Um, so I do know that that is one thing that I'm sure that these are like. They're probably just as creamy, just as blendable, and just as nice as her other palettes. I have the Volume 1, Volume 2. I had the Vault. I got rid of it because I didn't really use it. I only really liked one palette out of all four or five. I don't remember. But... I will tell you, Volume 1 and Volume 2, I have the original Volume 1, not the remake, and I absolutely love it. Volume 2 is just as good and creamy and buttery, and they just are, they're so pigmented. So for me, I'm assuming, now this is me assuming, that because she does have her own formula with them that these are probably also the same formula so they're probably going to be really really good so we're going to go right into the palette now that i have primed my eyes all my brushes are like scattered let's move this around and just as a uh disclaimer i guess um i paid for this palette so before anyone who isn't new here i know if you're not new here, you know that I paid for it, but just in case you're not new or just in case you are new, I paid for this palette. All my thoughts are my own. I think I'm gonna go in with, mm, I'm in between these two. I think I'm gonna go into Good Vibes first and I'm gonna go in with a soft light blending brush and I'm just gonna start that transition. So I'm gonna put it in my crease area and smoke it out. I think I'm gonna be doing a smoky eye. Hmm. I know guys, I know. Jamie loves her smoky eyes. Who doesn't love a good smoky eye? Oh, I do love that as a transition. It's a perfect transition color for me, actually. 
I think just barely would have been just too light. I know you see my little brow hairs here. I have to get my eyebrows waxed, so don't judge me. I see you wanting to judge me, but just don't do it. Just, just do. Also, it is not patchy, but I will say for this being a super light color, I have to put a lot on, but it's not bad. I know that Jacqueline is coming out with her own palette, but I don't think we're gonna see that for a while. And I think it's gonna be a lot more expensive than uh, $18, so. So I think I'm gonna go into Booked right here to warm it up just a little bit more. And I'm gonna stick to the outer corner and a little bit of that crease. Ooh, <gasps> I love how they blend together. Oh, oh, bitch. Oh, I'm telling you guys, I get so, so freaking excited over nudes. Some neutrals, divine neutrals. So I am taking that color and just bringing it over into the crease just a smidge. The formula definitely reminds me of her other palettes. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go back in with Good Vibes just a little to get this a little bit more blended. Nothing crazy. Just a quick over. I feel like though, shadows like this, because they are neutral and of the same undertone, so they're all basically warm tone, they just basically blend themselves together. Like it literally, this palette is like, if you want a palette that works for you and does like needs the least amount of love, this one right here. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me give these some swatches. I'm trying to decide which shimmer I want to use. Look how, oh my God. Like these are just, mm. all right. So this one is birthday suit. Oh, she's good. She's really good. This one is, sorry, I'm not flipping you off. Dripping or dripping, if you will. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more on that one because I feel like I swatched that one really ugly. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, so this one's more coppery. This one has a little bit more bronze going on. And then we have Risky Business. Mm, that has like a little bit more bricky red maroon undertone to it. Then we have Striptease. Oh, wow. That is like your perfect bronze copper color and then I have the last one which is I believe exposed yes so the one before this was striptease and then this one is exposed and I put it on my thumb so I'm trying to do that all right so I don't know which one I think I'm gonna go in with dripping I'm gonna go in with my finger just because I do feel like these shadows are really buttery the shimmery ones and I just think that putting them on with my finger is gonna be the best idea I could have. Like I feel like you could probably use a brush but in my opinion the payoff of it is it's gonna be better if you use your fingers and I'm still in between because I think that this dripping is a little bit too green in my opinion. I think I'm gonna go in with birthday suit which is this copper one and I'll watch the last shimmer since we're already here which is all luxe. And that's really pretty. It's a pinky silver undertone, but I just don't think it's gonna go with the vibe of what I have going on. So I'm gonna go in with birthday suit instead. Dripping is really pretty, but I think it has too much of a green undertone for me for this look. I love a shadow I can apply with my finger. And I'm taking it all over the lid and bringing it up. And I think I am gonna try it with a brush on the other side just to see. Like I said, I'm sure you can, but I wanna see. So it's not a... Mm, those swatches were real nice. I'm having some issues getting that to pop up on my eyes. So let me get a brush and try it that way. Okay, so I'm going into a light smudgy brush. All right, so we're gonna try to apply it with a brush. So you can apply it with a brush and I do feel like it actually looks better with a brush than with my finger, which is so strange because usually with shimmers, you want to apply them with your finger because your finger helps like really melt that shadow down. Mm. Right, now, I'm gonna, ah, now I'm gonna try a wet brush and see what the tea is with a wet brush. Oh, there we go. Wet is where it's at per the use. Every time I use a shimmer, I'm like, I don't even know why I thought using it dry was gonna be my best bet. So yes, most definitely, 10 out of 10 recommend using a wet brush. I use setting spray. A lot of people will use Fix Plus, but honestly, in my opinion, it doesn't freaking matter as long as it's setting spray. 
You can use water too. Unpopular opinion. I think I'm gonna go into Boo Bear right here and put that on my outer corner and a little into the crease just to deepen it up just a little bit more. And right over that gold, goldy copper color. I don't even know what you would call that, but it's beautiful. All right, and then one more color I wanna go back into is gonna be Good Vibes, just to kind of blend the outside here and up here out. Okay, so I did bring it up the shimmer just a little bit further, but like nothing crazy. And now I'm gonna go lightly back into Good Vibes, which was that first color I had placed down. And I'm just gonna go lightly over that. This is a really pretty palette. It does have a little bit of fallout. Ah! It does have a, quite a bit of fallout, actually. Not a little bit, it does. All right, and I am using the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. I love this. When my skin is not giving me any trouble, it just hydrates my skin so much. And I wait a little bit and let it dry and get a little sticky. And now I'm also going in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Liquid. This is the Faux Filter Luminous Matte in Macchiato. I think this is going to be a little too orange for me now. That's way too much foundation. I don't know why I pumped that much. Way too yellow for my skin dry. Already losing my color from summer. It's only been fall for a handful of dang days. So as for the palette, first impression wise, I think that it's actually a really good palette. I think that it is exactly what I expected. It blends nicely. It's easy to use. And that's what I think like consumers of makeup are looking for. Something that is really pretty, but also easy to use. Nobody wants to struggle putting on their eyeshadow. Like, and people who are new to makeup, like nudes, are really what they gravitate to. Because it's easiest to learn how to use them. But they're also like a time saver when you're busy or in the morning when you're headed to work and you're like, bitch. <laughs> I do not have time to put a whole rainbow on my face. So what I'm gonna need is some nude shadows. And I think that this definitely is that palette for that situation. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into my concealer. And today I am using the Tarte Shape Tape. And this is in the regular Shape Tape, not the Ultra Creamy. And we're using 22N, which is light neutral. I think I wanna get a new concealer. I haven't gotten a new concealer in a very long time. So let me know if there are any new concealers you guys either want me to review or you recommend that I try. I haven't tried the ABH one, but I really, really want to. Setting powder today is the Huda Beauty uh, Easy Bake and Banana Bread. I, I had my daughter pick out my makeup today, what I was gonna use, except for obviously the Jaclyn palette. And she picked everything Huda Beauty, which I'm not mad at. Like this used to be one of my favorite setting powders. But she saw that I was reviewing the Jaclyn palette with Morphe. She's like, I wish I would have known that. I would have picked out everything Jaclyn for you. And I'm like, okay. All right, and we're going in with the ABH off to Costa Rica face palette for our bronzer, highlighter, and blush, apparently. I love this bronzer. It is one of my favorite. So if you hear a recorder or a whistle, one of my children are downstairs playing hot cross buns on their recorder. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> Mom's just filming, no big deal. I'm trying to snatch this face, snatch it. She would picked out the Makeup Mario Raspberry Cream Blush, but it's just not my thing when it comes to, I've already put all this powder all over my face. <laughs> my God, that needs to be toned down. I used way too dense of a fucking powder. Way too dense. Unintensify all the blush I just laid down on my face, jeez. So the more makeup I put on my face, <laughs> like the more in love I am with my look. <laughs> just gonna say that right now i don't know why but that's just like how i feel right now like the more full coverage and like makeup i have on i just feel prettier <laughs> like my eye look just looks so good i'm also going into the highlighter from that palette which is so pretty you know what i like this highlighter so much we're gonna put some on our lip and we don't ever do that 
not here so I spray my face once and then I will come back and I'll spray it again the reason I'm using this one today is because I used it on my reviewing new makeup products and I'll put it here for you guys and this like kind of tingled and burnt my skin so I wanted to give it a go when my eczema was not driving me crazy and today I'm having a pretty good skin day so I decided to spray it and it actually does not burn or anything it's a little itchy up here but that could also be from the powders so my skin is very sensitive but it doesn't burn so I'm wondering if it just when my eczema was flaring up that's why it was that bad so I am going in with the Too Faced peach it's a peach lipstick it is in the shade sex on the beach and I just thought a nude lipstick was where it was at I'm actually obsessed with this lipstick I forgot how good it smells and how good it feels like it feels so freaking nice so anytime for the most part when I do a smoky eye or a brown nude eyeshadow I tend to do a cream or nude pencil on my waterline it just contrasts with the browns really really well so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm using the KKW Beauty cream and it is the nude eyeliner that's what it's called it is a cream pencil and I'm just gonna run that color right on my waterline all the way across I am gonna start with good vibes I'm gonna start with good vibes blend that out and then I'm gonna go and get it a little bit darker and more warm so this is kind of just like a base to blend it out with just like the upper lid was just like a transition so I like to do more than one color when I'm doing a smoky eye so it looks just like the top so I'm gonna go in with booked right here and I'm gonna focus more on the actual lid less down here and this takes some precise doing to keep it right where you need it. I'm gonna go in with one more color. I know, you're probably like, bitch, what are you doing? Bitch, why? Because we're gonna make it fancy today. So I'm gonna go in to Boo Bear, which was that darker brown that I put on the corners there, and I'm going to focus that right below that waterline on my actual lash line. And that's it, just right there like an eyeliner. And for this, I use a smudgy brush. I love how it contrasts with that cream color in my eyes. Do we love it? Okay, last but not least, I was gonna go into All Lux, but I feel like that's going to make it way more silver tone and I don't want that because everything about this face look is really warm. So I'm gonna go into birthday suit, which is that same beautiful color I put on my lid and just bring it down. So okay, same color, just extending it. So I'm going in with some mascara before I put my lashes on. But I can tell you guys already, I love, 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 love this palette and what it's done for my eyes. This is gonna be like my go-to fall palette for sure. Sorry, not sorry. All right, so I'm gonna hop off camera and I'm gonna put my lashes on and then I'll be right back and we will figure out our final thoughts and discuss them together and all that fun jazz. So stay tuned, I'll be RB. All right, all right. We are back to do our final thoughts on the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Divine Neutrals palette. What do I think? This is a really lightweight. What do I think? I think that this palette is amazing. I love this palette. I love the concept of this palette. I think that this palette is very easy to use. I think that it would definitely be somebody's go-to neutral. It's definitely gonna be my go-to fall palette because it has every shade of fall that could possibly be a shade in one palette and it's absolutely stunning. The shadows are blendable. They're not patchy, they're pigmented. The shimmers have a lot more fallout than I would prefer and I do think that you should use them with a wet brush or damp brush but I think that they're beautiful and once applied like they just it just looks I look like I'm ready to go to a pumpkin patch and I'm so excited like I feel like I should be standing somewhere in a sunflower field or something right now okay I absolutely love that every matte has its twin sister as a shimmer. I also love that she put some red ones in here and some green undertones. And this one is a more bronzy silver undertone and this has some more silver too. So it's not just this gold color. Listen, these mattes, let me tell you why it is super important that she has all of these in a cohesive palette because every last one of these is essential to makeup. 
okay so transition colors darkening depth look at like the depth of my eye here the outer corner it's they're just as important as black eyeshadows are in the industry having beautiful beautiful design <laughs> <laughs> neutrals I just think this is absolutely stunning it is only a 12 pan palette which is much smaller than like her volume 1 and volume 2 but they are a little bit bigger than the vault ones I think that the formula is exactly the same as volume 1 and volume 2 it's only 18 bucks and if you use like a code from somebody I don't have a code but I'm just saying I'm just kidding but I don't have a code so find someone's code who you support and then it's even cheaper than $18 I do believe that the quality of this is worth $18 like 100% and I think that if you get it, you're not going to be disappointed. I think that I understand people's first reactions were like, oh, it's so boring. I get it. It's a nude palette. And people are like, you know, we have a lot of nudes. But there are still a lot of us out there who get real excited for this, okay? And if I'm being honest, I'm going to be extremely honest now that I'm done reviewing this palette. Um... <laughs> hear me out okay I think that we expect too much and I think that that is the makeup industry's fault that we expect too much with makeup launches the problem is in the past I want to say three years back companies like Colourpop ABH Kylie I can go on okay it's not just one it's it's all of them Morphe they have produced so much stuff so much makeup that it, it's so fast we're unable to consume it quick enough so now when they launch these beautiful palettes like this one is very beautiful we almost like our eye just doesn't catch it because it's like well we've seen a million so the problem is the industry went way too hard when makeup was on a rise like obviously makeup is still very trendy People love makeup, but it isn't as crazy as three years ago. I will tell you that from being and playing and being involved with makeup as long as I have. Two to three years ago was crazy, man. It was absolutely crazy and companies couldn't pump stuff out fast enough. So now when you get these very beautiful palettes, but they are very natural nude normal palettes it doesn't interest anybody people aren't excited because they've they've been so spoiled for the past couple of years that they don't take a second to go okay this palette is actually really genuinely beautiful now if you're like well jamie i don't want any more nude palettes i don't want any more natural colors you don't have to buy it I mean you really don't but I'm here to give it to you honestly it's how I am I am a brutally honest person and I try to be as kind as I can about it and if this palette wasn't worth the $18 I paid then I wouldn't tell you and again I paid for this it wasn't sent to me I have no reason to kiss Morphe's ass or Jacqueline's ass because we to be honest I don't care about either of them I really just love makeup and I think that if you get this you're not going to be disappointed I think it's a beautiful palette to have in your collection it is a beautiful palette for any makeup artist because these are the colors of the wedding season okay Th this it, it's just beautiful and the payoff and the quality of them fan there's nothing more I can say it's really good again I think that if you buy it you're not going to be disappointed if you pass on it I mean you're not missing like the grandest palette in the world but I think that you're missing on a good thing so in my opinion that is my opinion so don't come for me okay if you don't like it that's fine that's fine we all have our things but that is it for my video guys i hope you really liked this video i hope it helped you decide whether or not you want to get this palette if it's worth your money if you've already got this palette you probably got it before me because i'm late to the game on everything because i'm just a procrastinator comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are and and i want to see i want maybe i'll do a poll but i also want to see in the comments are you more of a nude neutral makeup person or more of a bright neon like bright color eyeshadow person like we're not talking like oh when i go out i'm this and when i what is your go-to color scheme color story more neutral nudey more crazy bright and like fun and pops of colors let me know down below i need to know this because i know you guys see me do these crazy bright colors on here but i promise you 
it's like 10% chance I'm actually wearing that out to like work or something. It's usually this. This is usually what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, hit that like button for me and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.